Ladies, ladies only, lady Anne, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm really, really very happy to be here this morning. I'm thankful for Lady Rhonda for extending the invitation for me to come to share with you this morning. I have to say, though, I'm a little sad. It's the first time that I'm coming to the temple and I'm not seeing a little bald head person peeping over the piano. But I mean, although I have to say Lady Angela looks a little better, but <laughs> you know, but um, I share this with you. I share this with you. You know, for years, I mean, donkey's years. I mean, I'm going back to 1900 when I was a student on campus. He was trying to get me. He, he always said, come and sing at church. And I'm like, why, sir? It's not necessary. He said, no, man, I want you to come and sing at my church. I want. I said, sir, everybody at your church, I know them, and I know that they come to university sing us three and four times, and they hear me sing all the time, so why come? And, you know, he, about three years ago, he he, he, he came back to me and he said, I'm not stopping you, no, I, I want you to come and sing at church. And I said, all right, sir, no problem. And I went to his house and we rehearsed. And the Sunday morning I fell ill and I didn't come. And I, I mean, now that I think back at it, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really sad. But I tell you this, I, coming here this morning, I felt a, a, a peace. I was enveloped with a, a sense of peace and calm. And I don't know, I just like sense his spirit hugging me, you know, all the way here and stuff. And I just sat there through the, ser you know, through the service and I, you know, I heard this Lady Sonia share and, and I just, I know he's here with me this morning. I, I, I well, anyway, it, it, it's a musical item, sorry. <laughs>